946 right now. Welcome back to Good Day DC. In the summer, we've shown you how to grill. Now get ready to fry. Hot dogs, hamburgers, you know, the regular staples at cookouts, but Labor Day weekend, you could enjoy a fish fry. Here to show us how to fry up some fish with a Calabama twist is our friend, Chef Lori Rogers. Better known as Chef Laureus. Good morning. I'm so happy that you're back. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Oh, it's good to see you. So, barbecues, we've done some things together, some segments, and we've yes. showed some good grilling tips. Potato salad, you in fact brought my favorite potato salad Just back. Just for you, by the way. This is why I love you so <laughs> much. Mm, I'll so, love. <laughs> it smells so good in here. You made some homemade cocktail sauce, yes. but let's talk about the fish because that's obviously the staple. Yes. Yeah, so, what I like to use for my fish fries, because I love fried fish, me too. Uh, I like cod. Oh, cod nice and grouper. light fish. Yes. Yeah. And they also, even though they're light fish, they're meaty and they're filling. Mm -hmm. So you don't end up like, I'm still hungry, you know? Right. Catfish is also very popular. I'm not always a catfish person. I'm so. with you on that. So do you buy it fresh or do you buy it frozen? Do you have any suggestions? I like to buy fr fresh. Fresh. Okay, I say good. go to your market, mm -hmm. go back there and say, let me see the fresh. And when you see the fresh caught, wild caught and all that, mm -hmm. get that. That is so much better and you can taste the difference. Good tip. Okay. So yes. buy the fresh fish and then you cut into nice little sandwich sized pieces. Yes. And what do we do next? So what I like to do is whip up an egg because you want a little egg wash. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't need a ton of this, but just a little bit of egg. Okay. And then I like to use my own seasoning. I I like, you know, I get a little fancy here. Oh, tell me more. <laughs> what do we have? This is what I call Calabama spicy. Let me smell. Let me smell. Don't Ooh, sneeze. Oh, I want that. <laughs> that has kind of a Cajun twist to it. It a does. Little bit. And you know what makes the Cajun twist in these things? What's that? Thyme. Oh, interesting. It's, it's the. What most, else is mixed up in there? You've got thyme, chili powder, uh, paprika, mm. of course, a little cayenne, and a little brown sugar just to balance it out. See, I like that. I love it. Now, if you want your fish super spicy, I put the seasoning directly on there as well as in our cornmeal and flour. Nice. Mixture. So you mix it in the cornmeal and flour mixture mm -hmm. for breading and then coat it on there first exactly. before you egg wash it? Uh, yes. Now, got if it. you don't, this though, putting it directly on there will give you a little extra spice kick. I got to warn you. Okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> I would do that. Because I've been accused of cooking a little too spicy. I think it's true. I like a little too spicy. So, <laughs> so we'll do it that way. We'll do it that way. I'll just put some on my hand here so I'm not cross contaminating. Perfect. Okay. And we're just going to sprinkle it on here. Like let it this. kind of soak in there. Yeah, let it get in there real good. We've got some peanut oil uh, oh. heating up. I like to fry with peanut oil. Peanut oil is, has a nice burning point. It doesn't smoke quite as bad. It doesn't make as big of a mess. I'm getting some really good tips for fish frying because, oh, yes. you know, it's hit or miss for me sometimes with the breading consistency. Yes. So cornmeal flour mix is good to know. The yes. eggs and the seasoning and first. Seasoning. I like all these tips. So let's see if our oil is hot enough. Just, just about, warmed up. Yeah. almost, but that's okay. We have some so they can see what's going to happen. Exactly. Okay, so you're going to take your... Beautiful little cod fillet here. That's nice gonna and seasoned. Dip it into the egg wash. Okay. You can use the wet hand, dry hand method, but right. I'm never really good at that. So I just have the make a mess method. I gotta be honest with you, when I do the chicken cutlet for chicken parm, same thing. My hands are covered in yeah. flour and breadcrumb mix at the end, and it's just like whatever. So gloves can be your best friend. Gloves can okay. be your best friend. And here's our mixture of our cornmeal and flour, mm -hmm. along with some Calabama spicy. You're gonna dip the fish in that, just like so. Okay, make sure you coat it good. Don't be, don't, don't You don't want cute. any holes in your fish no, fry. No, be good to the fish. The fish gave its life for you. Be yes, good to give it. Give some extra love. Give some love. <laughs> Shake off your extra flour because you mm -hmm. don't want just burnt flour. Right, okay? and that'll kind of bubble up on the top. I've exactly. been there before. Now, for demonstration purposes, this is not as hot as we want it, but you're right. going to just basically lay your fish in there and it's going to start to sizzle. Right, and okay. how long do you want it fried on each side? No more than two to three minutes, depending on the density of the fish. If it's a really thick piece, maybe give it an extra minute or two exactly. per side. Exactly. And watch your heat, because when you're frying this, what's going to happen is your oil is going to start to cool off, and then it's going to heat back up. Mm -hmm. cool. You want to start around 350 degrees, and then just check it. Don't fry it too fast, or the, the outsides will just be black and burned, and the inside will be sushi. And that's not a good fish fry. We're not making sushi. Well, I'll tell you what, Chef Lori, <laughs> you brought in some homemade coleslaw, yes. some potato salad, homemade cocktail sauce. You see the beautiful finished product there, plated on some kale with some lemons. Yes. Where can people reach out to you to get all these great tips? ChefLorius.com. I will be so happy to have you and just come on over and just eat. So that's how it looks when it finishes. Oh my gosh, I am ready for lunch. You hang out with us for a little bit longer. Absolutely. Chef Lorius, you've outdone yourself once again. Thank Wonderful you. tips as well. I'll toss it back over to you. All right, 950 is the time right now. Coming up next.